Rice Krispie Treats, tasty, yet so plain. We've experimented with some odd Rice Krispie combinations, but I thought it'd be good to go back to like the basics. Just try all of the most popular cereals and see how each of them stack up against the original Rice Krispies. And then we're gonna rank them all in a massive tier list. For science. For science. This might be risky. But will it Rice Krispie? Let's, Let's find out. out. Tastes like a freaking rainbow. So we have these most popular 14 cereals ranked from least popular to most popular. So I think let's start on the low end with Special K. <laughs> also, we have a new fancy stove, guys. Hopefully this will speed up the entire process. It's propane. It's butane. And protein, it, what? <laughs> <laughs> woo, woo fun. Okay, let's not uh, go too far though. We don't want the butter to burn. <laughs> I'm actually excited for this. this. This has definite potential. And some wild cards with the strawberries. I like the red berries. Mm. Oh right? my gosh, it's been so long since we just had cereal in our lives. I think that, that after we do these crispies, we should just eat all the cereals for like two weeks straight. So much cereal. <laughs> we'll take it over to family's house and just say, please eat our cereal. Please eat this children's cereal. <laughs> hey, cereal isn't just for children. It's a universal treat. This message was paid for by the Kellogg's Corporation. And you can have it in the morning. At night. At night. Really, those are the only two times. If you have it for lunch, you're weird. <laughs> oh no. We donated one to the floor. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Look it's at it's getting so puffy. We just had lunch, yet I'm hungry again. So this is interesting because there's much bigger flakes than the Rice Krispies. So yeah. I wonder how that's gonna like work. Yeah, how integrated will it be? Yeah. <laughs> It looks way too big. <laughs> it looks way too big. What have we done? Oopsie. Oopsie. Oh no. These are just gonna be like mounded over, like heaping, heaping, heaping rice crispy treats. All right. I think we'll let this cool and then we'll test it and judge it. Hey! Man, I am so, like, re-hungry. <laughs> this has hungered me. <laughs> Look at that brick. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think we might need to let these cool a bit more. No! Look well, at that. We need, we need, okay, I know you're really enthusiastic, but we do need these tests to be scientific. Consistent and scientific. This is cubing. <clears throat> it's cubing? Yeah. I think that's my test. Okay, like if it can hold a cube? Yeah. Ooh, nice. <laughs> it, that is not cubing. <laughs> it's, it's totally cubing. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I mean, I expect it to be awesome. Mm. It's just, honestly, I expect most of these to be good. Finally. <laughs> Finally, you just have a good one. What are you saying about our past Rice Krispies experience? Most of which <laughs> were brought on by me. <laughs> they were fun. This okay. is a treat. A okay. little sweet. That does make sense because the original Rice Krispies don't have much sweetness to them. Mm -hmm. So that could be an issue we run this into. This is overly sweet. It's great for a bite, but you couldn't eat a ton of it. Okay. Get a, get a, a, a strawberry I, bite. I'm gonna get a red berry. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. It's like a it's like a special K bar. Yeah, it's great. It's really tasty. Yeah. Wow. I could do even more berry. <laughs> I know. I'm definitely gonna put it on the upper end, but I don't know if I want to put it towards yeah. the best yet. I think I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. This is the first one. This will set a standard from which we can expand upon. Next up, Reese's Puffs. I don't know how this can't be good. Ready for a mallow? Ready for mallow? These look like um like dog kibble or something. <laughs> they really do though. I wonder if it's gonna change color for the marshmallows at all. Okay. Oh, because the chocolate? Yeah. I realize I don't think I've actually eaten Reese's Puff cereal. I think that um one worry I have about this in particular is this really relies on the milk to like balance the sweetness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But also just like engage the chocolatey peanut butteriness, you know what I mean? Interesting. 
gosh. You know how when you think about eating something sour, yep. you get like your cheeks pucker a little bit? Yep. A similar thing happens to me when I think about having really, really sweet things. <laughs> really? And I'm like, my jaws hurt. <laughs> We're on number two and my jaws hurt. <laughs> We might need to reuse those containers. You know, you can cut it in the container. Wow, the marshmallow really sank. Oh, you really yeah. have to like cut through the cereal itself. That is a cross section. That's a cross section. Nice and crispy. Nice and crispy. That sounds crunchy. Hmm. Is it too sweet? Hmm. It sounds like mostly crunch. Hmm. Mmm. Okay. Mm hmm When I was just eating off the top, it was really good and it wasn't overly sweet. Yeah, but that's not a true indicator of what it's like. You need the full cross section okay, with the go, correct proportions. Go for it. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Ooh, it caught my mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Right? The peanut butter oh. does wonders. Mmm. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. It's better than the special K. Yeah, better yeah. than the special K? Mm-hmm. I'm going in for a second bite. Next up, Raisin Bran. So are you pro or anti Raisin Bran? Or just maybe raisins in general? You know, I'm a little bit out of the loop. I haven't had Raisin Bran in potentially ever. I think I am a little bit anti-raisin. See, I'm, I'm a little bit pro. And I actually think that this one is gonna be good because I think it's gonna be not too sweet. Mmm, the Special K flakes. See, yeah, are yeah, significantly yeah, sweeter. So I think the Raisin Bran's actually gonna make a good Rice Krispie treat. This is so plain! This is so plain! You're saying that like it's a bad thing. You you take the bites with the raisins and the raisins are sweet. It's not a bad, it's not the worst cereal. Which one has more calories per cup? Well, the way you're saying it, it makes me think it's probably the Raisin Bran. <laughs> yeah. But it's because the raisins. Oh, raisins but, but the strawberries? Sugar. Yeah, but there's a lot more raisins than strawberries. And those- I'm just making things up right now. <laughs> there's a lot of raisins in here. And they are literally covered in sugar. That's so they're weird. covered in I've sugar. I've never noticed that before. I think they're supposed to release their sugar payload into the- The sugar payload? Yeah, into, into the um, milk to sweeten up all those like boring cornflakes. It's, it, it feels chewy. It got soggy? N not soggy. It's just not. Crispy. It's not crispy. Like it's very hard to cut. <laughs> That's so interesting. That's it really like interesting. It absorbed something. Yeah, it's not, it's not a clean cut, though it does still look tasty. I mean, mm. this could be the exact same as a Special K. We just did Special K when it was hotter. <laughs> yeah. It is a little chewy. Hmm. Now, sweetness level is great, but it's not as satisfying to eat. Yeah, it's not, it's not a crispy. Hmm. Right? Weird. It's not crispy. It's not crispy. It's so weird. I know. Hello? I know. Disappointing. I think I'm gonna have to put it down here towards the worst. Do you think? The raisins release too much moisture or something? I don't know, I don't know, but it's a little chewy. Next up is a real wild card, Fruity, Fruity Pebbles. Pebbles. I would like to be precise. <laughs> I just came out of this side, counting marshmallows. You know this is a good idea. It's a great idea. Thank you. It's a very Caitlin, it's a very Caitlin thing. And you're very smart. That's why it's a Caitlin thing. So I never had Fruity Pebbles. I don't think I've really had them either. I, I might, <gasps> I have my doubts about this. I think it's gonna be like too sweet, too artificially fruity. Yeah, I was never a big fan of like fruity flavored cereals. Tastes like a freaking rainbow. But I do think the texture of these, because it's so close to a Rice Krispie treat, yeah. will be great. This is something that kids might like, you know, who have, who have unrefined taste buds. Children. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I don't mean to insult our children viewers out there. <laughs> it's 
I mean, visually stunning. And that's all I can say. Yep. Well, until we try it. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, that's a good sound. Sounds like a normal Rice Krispie treat. It's a little gooey. <laughs> it's a little gooey. It's so I love how, like, you get your hands all the way in there. It's so gooey. Why is it so gooey? It's it's so fun looking. It really is. Let's see how it tastes. Very crunchy. It's so sweet. I'm not I'm not really looking forward to trying this one. Tastes just like what you would expect. It's like eating a lollipop with extra sugar on top of it. It's just, it's so sweet and the fake fruit flavor is just so bad. I think a new standard has been set. Yeah. On the worst scale. For sure. I would rather have the stale raisin bread. The raisin bran is, should actually be up here relative to this. Yeah. This is. It's the worst for sure. Visual's great, very fun looking. Doesn't taste great. Next up, life. I'm really excited. Me too. <laughs> the more boring the cereal, the more excited I get. This is so great. This is like experimenting, but with food. Yes. Now this is original normal life. What life do you, we usually eat? We usually get the cinnamon one. Cinnamon one, yeah. It's been a while since I had like just a straight up original life. It's kind of boring, right? Hmm. They're kind of boring. Oh, are you excited by this? I'm excited it's boring. Such a satisfying sound. You know, not the most appetizing one, but I'm still excited because of the lack of flavor. <laughs> so packed full. Life. Is sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, good stringage. Good stringage. Yeah. Let's see how it tastes. You know, it's not bad. It's also nothing special. It's not quite as crispy as a Rice Krispie. Right? It's just kind of boring. It's kind of like right in the middle for me. There's nothing terrible, and there's nothing great. Mm -mm. But next. I'm excited to try frosted mini wheats. Mm. They're pretty good. They're very um weedy. <laughs> They're very weedy. So weedy. So weedy. A weedy treaty. That's the weediest thing I've eaten in years. <laughs> wow, now those are truly frosted. Look truly at that. Truly frosted. Also, um, have you ever had a, a big wheat? A big wheat? There's a reason these are called mini wheats. They're, 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 they're bigger than this? It's like a single loaf. <laughs> it's one loaf. And is it supposed to be cereal? I think so. I've never had it, but I've seen them. Wow. And you pour milk over the whole loaf. You oh just put one loaf God. in a bowl. <laughs> that sounds so weird. I know. Put a pat of butter on the biscuit, sprinkle with cinnamon sugar, and pour on warm milk. Uh, I think this is gonna be absolutely overflowing. I can't like I know. condense this as much as the others, you That's know what okay. I mean? That's okay, it'll just um, be bountiful. If I had time to like place them all in like little columns. Precisely placed like little Like wheat. little wheat soldiers, that would have been ideal. This'll be fine. Get in there! <sighs> I am bored. All the humans I spy on aren't doing anything exciting. Have you checked on Evan and Caitlin recently? I know they do the do 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 resin fun thing. Oh yes, have. let's see what they're up to. No, they have private internet access. The sponsor of today's video. Hello? How dare you use a VPN and block me from spying on me? Why don't you think about me and my needs? Also, where is that cute cat Drew? She needs more on-screen time. Hey, hey, listen, don't be mad. You can get private internet access too. 
They'll hide your online activity from your internet provider, network admin, and the government. The government is annoying. By changing your IP address and rerouting your internet traffic through an encrypted tunnel. They also have servers in all 50 states, meaning you can do things like watch TV premieres before they show up in your time zone. And if you're still bored, try switching your IP address to another country to access different shows to stream, like Friends or Rick and Morty. They're the most customizable and transparent VPN source out there, 100% open source, and they never record or store user data. And trying them is risk-free. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee and access to 24-7 support. Take some of this human money! Hold on. If you click our link, you'll get 82% off private internet access. That's just $2.11 per month, plus three extra months free. This Good is luck be cutting these. The most difficult, oh wait. Oh, you just kind of did it. Just kind of did it. You're so strong. <laughs> I am a strong boy, thanks for noticing. Got a little bit of a cross section even. Yeah, look at that. Wow, wow. okay, okay. Wait. It feels like I'm just eating hay. <laughs> you know how earlier you were talking about with the Reese's Puff, how they mm. really need the milk to activate it? I think that is what's happening here. Mm -hmm. It needs the milk to soften it, otherwise yeah. it is hay. <laughs> it feels like I'm a cow. <laughs> this isn't like a snacking cereal. That's a good point, it's not a snacking cereal. No, this is a milk cereal. Milk necessary. Now. Was it as horrible as Fruity Pebbles? No. And that's Fruity that. Pebbles is just <laughs> that bad. <laughs> and based on our feelings about Fruity Pebbles, I don't have high hopes for the next one. Fruit Loops. You know? They smell the same. I think the problem with these types of flavors and cereals is there's just absolutely nothing natural about the flavor. The fruity flavors in these fruit cereals is just like natural flavor. Hey, you know what's a fun fact? A lot of vanilla natural flavor categorized no, as natural flavor. No, don't say it, don't say it. No, 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 it spare comes, everyone, no. It, it, it comes, comes from glands. It comes from. <laughs> glands. glands. It comes, it comes from the anal glands. <laughs> and it tastes like vanilla, so if you keep say vanilla natural flavoring, that is butt juice. You're welcome. I didn't know we were going there today. I didn't either, but it had to be said. People need to know. Mm -mm. We haven't even checked these. Is there any natural vanilla flavor on they any get, of these? They can get away with a lot by just saying natural flavors. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I apologize for my wife. Very visually rich. Yeah. Although the Fruity Pebbles were prettier. At least they're more excited to look at than like the life. Yeah. That one looks like something a cat threw up. <laughs> Once we mixed it with the marshmallows, I'm not Why do we have to make everything sound so appetizing? <laughs> Bad right. juice. Wow. Wow. Oh, good thing that landed in there. My jaws hurt in anticipation. Crunch. Ooh, very good crunch, yeah. Yeah, quality crunch. Some cereals must just be like thirstier and drier than others, you know what I mean? Yes. Great <laughs> Are we spoiling our dinner? You know, it's not as bad as Fruity Pebbles. It's better than Mini Wheats. <laughs> right? It's really not as bad as I feared. I know. I actually think Raisin Bran might be better than Life. I, might, I think it might be that. I think, yeah, the Life was bad. And I'm just gonna move these two a little bit closer. Yeah. To the best end. Well, I was very optimistic at the beginning and now my hope is dwindling <laughs> rapidly. Yeah. Maybe Cheerios is gonna come in swinging at the end. But first. Oh no. Oh, this is just gonna be so sweet. 
Lucky Charms. Marshmallows on marshmallows. What do you think about Lucky Charms? They're fine, but I wasn't a big fan of the marshmallows, which meant like I might as well eat Cheerios, you know? Yeah. The, the cereal part. It's just kind of like Cheerios, right? It's, it's very much like Cheerios. Yeah, which is tasty. I like tasty. that. Tasty. Very, very basic, kind of wholesome. Mm -hmm. I, well, I actually think that these could be okay. That marshmallow though. Oh, you ate, you ate a marshmallow? I ate a marshmallow straight up. I, I think I need to go visit the dentist now. It kind of makes your teeth squeak, right? It's just, it's worse than eating plain sugar. Isn't sugar just, sugar, is sugar the sweetest thing? No, I guess oh, there's. It's so sweet and it dissolves really easily. I think they might melt. I think they're gonna melt. Well, that's kind of exciting. Yeah. Ooh. Alrighty. I'm excited. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it's starting to break down and goop. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at the blue. Oh, wow. I like this aesthetic more than like the pure unicorn. This is more like a tie-dye. Yeah, 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 this is classy. This is the grooviest of marshmallow treats. Yes. Quite wow. goopy still. Some just stay goopier for longer. We let them cool the same amount of time. Yeah, we have a timer. Oh my gosh. Whoa, wow. Oh, it's because there's more marshmallow. That's why it's goopier. This is insanely goopy. Oh, this, now, I, now I have fears. Now it feels like it's gonna be disgusting. Just use your hands. <laughs> Let it have the knife. <laughs> oh my God. It's taking the knife. No. Mm. Mm. Really? Mm. It's just a ball. <laughs> oh no, here it comes. The marshmallow is just like in the back of the bite. It's a delayed, and initially you taste like the, the crunchy, pure, like more pure goodness of the cereal bits, mm. Mm -hmm. right? And you're like, oh yeah, 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 this isn't too bad. It's not too sweet, thank goodness. It's, 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 at first you're like, oh, oh, and then the sugar comes in, it's like, pop, pop, pop. It, it, it do be like that. Fruit yeah, behind Fruit better. Loops, yeah. Fruit Loops were less sweet. I actually am kind of excited about this next one, even though it's a sweet cereal. It's one of my uh, favorite indulgences. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm excited too. Turning this on is fun. It's a little violent. <laughs> Why do you think I like it? <laughs> <laughs> this pan is getting like a little bit nasty. Oh yeah, it's disgusting. But at like, this point- All of the sugar and butter is just like, adding up from the last project. It kind of like builds on itself. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. My heart can't take this project. <laughs> mm, it smells so good. It smells, like, it smells like walking into an Ikea. You said that earlier when we weren't recording and I came over to smell it. So doubtful. Yeah, like, it's so true. Hmm. I mean, it's ridiculously sweet, but good flavor. This one's pretty dang good. Hmm. Right. The cinnamon. It's mm. it's so sweet, but it but it is good. It's not just sweet. It's not just a pure sugar sweetness, you know. Mm. That's something we will finish. Mm hmm. I think we'll, we'll, we'll save this and we'll have it as a dessert. How do you compare it to the Reese's Puffs? Because it's pretty close. It's below Special K for me. Really? Okay. For sure, for sure. Mm. It's good though. It's good. That one's good. I'm it's glad. good. It's good. I wish that there was like a lightly sweetened marshmallow, like a less sweet marshmallow that you could use for these. We need non-sweet food glue. Non-sweet food glue. It's like, you know what? Marshmallows is like the resin of cooking. Right? Okay. So next up is honey bunches of oats. I am starting to find marshmallow in a lot of places <laughs> on me. <laughs> oh no. Like under my nails. Oh wow. I had some on my arm. <laughs> Feels 
You'll find it. You'll find it later, I guess. Well, I'm starting to develop a few like trademarks for what will make a good crispy treat with marshmallows. Yeah, is it a snackable cereal? Is it a snackable cereal? And does it have a flavor other than just sugar? Yeah, I would say this one does. It has a honeyish granola flavor. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And it's not overly sweet. It's got a nice texture variety within the single cereal. You yeah, know? like some nuts, some corn flakes, some... Uh... I don't think it has any nuts. Oh, it doesn't? <laughs> no. Oh. It's got I, crunchy I, oat bunches, <clears throat> frosted sparkle oh, oh, flakes. Oh, oh, oh. We'll deal with that later. Okay. It'll probably wipe off. Yum. God, it's so stringy. I know. Did you just do a preliminary taste test? It was just stuck in my hand. I couldn't help it. Mmm. Mmm. Good. I'm glad. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Ooh. Not much more to say than mmm. This is up there. I'm excited. Everything that we are looking forward to, the honey mm -hmm. gives the marshmallow like an actual flavor. The crunch is there, the variety is there with the granola. <laughs> like this is a second biter for me. Mm. Yeah, everything oh. you just said. I think for me. Great crunch, supreme crunch. Mm. Or maybe, we're gonna have to retaste re all of these. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I still think the Reese's might be my favorite. But like this cluster up here, far superior to this cluster that's forming over here. Yes, there's a big jump. <laughs> oh, I'm worried this is gonna be way too sweet. Frosted flakes. Do you ever like frosted flakes? If we were on vacation at a hotel and the breakfast at that hotel was bad, and all they had was frosted flakes. I'd eat them. I'd eat them. Whereas if it was Fruity Pebbles, I would not. Yeah. <laughs> I would starve. Yeah. This is one of the most sold cereals. In the top three. Yeah. Uh, that kind of surprises me. Those kids are kind of boring. Maybe that's why, you know? Yeah, maybe that's Proud why. It's like basis. so universally like, okay. Oh, they're bigger than I remember. That was like a chip. Look at this. So basic. Yeah, it's so sweet. Can you see this? And it just looks so puffy and like friendly. The marshmallows are friendly? Yeah, it just looks like a like a cozy place to lay. Like, like a little nice. pillow. Uh, lava hot bed of goop death. Oh, this is just gonna be so sweet. It's gonna be so sweet. My jaw's hurting like, again. Oh, I know that this isn't an unpleasant thing to eat. But right about now, couldn't you kind of go over some dry, salty ramen? Rice Krispie Treats, just yeah. to mix it up a bit, you know? Yep. Some hot Cheeto Rice Krispie Treats. They're holding up surprisingly well. Yeah, they're strong. New technique. You know, it is what it is. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's way too sweet. Somehow, it's sweeter than just eating a marshmallow. Oh God. Like, ah! Its sweetness level is a 10 out of 10. If it was scaled back to like a five or a four. If, then, then it could be good. The like corn flaky the corn, mm -hmm. flavor does come through slightly. Oh, it's so sweet. It's not as bad as Fruity Pebbles. It's not as bad as Fruity Pebbles. But it's down there. I might say it's a little better than Frosted Mini Wheats just because this is such hay. <laughs> but I'm very, very, very excited. For the next one. The classic, Honey Nut Cheerios. Come on, come on, classic. When I was uh, a young kid and I was uh, asleep, my, my brother would like lay Cheerios all the way around my head. So that like, if I woke up and I was hungry, I could turn my head in any direction. I'd be surrounded by Honey Nut Cheerios. These aren't as sweet as I feared. No, these are just great. Classic. I'm excited. Me too. Oh. And stop. Yeet. 
Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. I think that after going through all of these cereals and doing this so many times, I think we're gonna be so much better at making our own strange crispy creations. I think that like we could like maybe combine all of the lessons learned and make the ultimate S tier crispy treat. Or we make something horrible. Yes. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Mm? It's pretty good. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. It seems more marshmallowy than usual or something. It's the same amount. It's not bad though. It doesn't add a ton to it, but it's still pretty good. It's not as good as the Honey Bunch of Votes. It's not as good as the Honey Bunch of Votes. I'm surprised, but I think it's gonna go. I kind of think so too. I, I had higher hopes for it. Yeah, like it's not bad, but the flavor doesn't push through as, as much. Mm. It could also be that the sweetness of the Honey Nut Cheerios specifically is adding to the marshmallow sweetness and overpowering. So a normal che Cheerio might be better. Standard Cheerios. Of everything, I have the highest hopes for this. It's so not sweet. It's so not sweet. This is the least sweet cereal of anything we've tried. I hope. I hope, hope it's good. Please. Again, I need a salty marshmallow substitute. I, I think the substitute is cheese. I, I really think it's cheese. It can be solid, you melt it into liquid, and then it becomes solid again. I think it's cheese. I wholeheartedly disagree. I know you're trolling. No, I'm not! <laughs> you're not trolling? Cheese would is like the equivalent in terms of structure. That is salty. What else is salty that starts out solid, melts, and then be can become solid again? Would you add cheese to this, or would you I, fully substitute? I would substitute? replace the marshmallows with cheese. I don't, I, I, I don't. Guys, please comment telling Caitlin no. Please, be on my side, protect me from her. <laughs> I need, I need help. <laughs> this is me and her. <laughs> it's almost there. Yeah, I guess we could do something with egg white. Like a meringue. It wouldn't be chewy though. In but the like end. If, if you cook it too much, it'll turn into scrambled eggs, right? I think it would be better than marshmallows. <laughs> It'd be like an omelet. <laughs> like egg! A... We can totally use egg and <laughs> just cook it. What? We can make egg rice krispies. Picture this. Starts on liquid, you stir in cereal, you cook it. Egg rice krispies. No! Yes! The perfect balanced breakfast! Guys, help! Help! I'm sorry, I can't stop. That would be so good to Do, experiment with. Yeah, yeah, come <laughs> I'm on. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be good. Be realistic with how tasty it could it'd be. be good. I doubt it. Be better than Fruity Pebbles. Mm -hmm. Better than the honey nut? Mm hmm Okay. I'm definitely good. like different and unique than Rice Krispie Treats. Mm. Cheerio Krispie Treats. Those are pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Now where do they fall? Hmm. Just because like this is unique. This is unique. Yeah. This is like... I'm on the fence about putting it below here because this is unique, but the lack of sweetness here yeah. certainly helps. I think before we do the final ranking, we're gonna do another test of everything and maybe rearrange things. But first, we need a first. good baseline. A baseline we need to, to control. judge everything else off of. It's finally time after so many tests. Rice Krispies. It's the final crispy diddly do. Oh, copyright. <clears throat> Insert fun. We can make our own song. It's the final crispy, do 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 crispy. It's the final crispy, epic final song. I just wish that we could use whatever songs we wanted. I would gladly give up a percentage of AdSense. Yeah, like I would, I would, For I would like totally, For like the two yeah, seconds yeah. the song appears, yeah, I'd gladly. Yeah, gladly. Just to you be know, able to use certain songs. 20 minute song, 
we can use one minute of a 20 song. 20 minute song? Oh, sorry, 20 minute video, we could use one minute of a song for 1 20th revenue. Come on guys, get on that. So you know one thing I think back to is when we first started ranking our Rice Krispie creations, I said that I thought original Rice Krispie treats were an S tier Rice Krispie treat and you pushed back. I did. Because you thought that other things could be better. Do you feel differently or the same? I still feel the same. I feel like this should be A. Now I don't know if any of what we've created so far will be S tier. We'll have to figure that out once we get to the tier list. But I still feel like there, there could be something there. I don't know. Wow, this makes a lot. Wow, that one did make a lot. Hello? <laughs> Hello? So light and Kinda fluffy. Kind of looks like fried rice. Yeah, like so puffy and light and delicious looking. I'm just craving salty things. I'm gonna try to hold strong. Hold strong? With this being an A tier. Cause also like, what if we just added peanut butter to this? Wait. I think that might make it an S tier. This is like cutting. This is like, oh, look at that it cross section. It cut like section. it's supposed to. This is like how it's supposed to be, guys. Oh. Mm. Just instant good. Even after you eat so much sweet. It's just how it's supposed to be. It's just instant good even after so much sweet. It's just good. It's just good. It's like the, literally the only one that is not too sweet. We can place it. <laughs> <laughs> I think what we need to do is we need to go have dinner. Clear our palates. Clear our palates. Like my taste buds are so just done. Let's go eat, do a final rearrangement and then rankings. Mm -hmm. If we invited you over to our house and we have this feast laid out for y'all, what do you think? I'd be pretty impressed. Impressed with how bad they are and impressed with how good some are. Now, speaking of which, we mm -hmm. did a taste refresher for a lot of these and some have changed as they've cooled. Yeah, some have gotten a lot better. I'm gonna make the first move. Okay. <gasps> oh my God. Oh no. Are we disagreeing? Whoa, really? Whoa, oh my gosh, I really? I like the honey roasted less. Really? I like the Reese's way more. It's my favorite by far. It's the only one with salt. Okay, can I? I am willing to negotiate. What about that? I'm cool with that. Okay, okay. If you feel really strongly, I could even, Yeah. you know. Okay, I think, I think, there you go. But Reese's, Reese's were my top. Yeah. Tip top. And honey roasted, really great. Very good, yes. Oh, I'm cool with that. Which is, this is so basic. It's so basic. It's kind of boring. I thought the raisin bran got worse because it got so chewy. It's like jerky. The taste is good. It's just so, so chewy. Mm. You put Fruit Loops <laughs> above Honey Nut Cheerios? Try it again. Fruit Loops is pretty good. I'll, I'll give it to you. They're about tied for me. Right. I honestly feel pretty good about these yeah. end drinkings. I, honestly, we didn't even try these again. They're just so bad. I'll do it, I'll do it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, I won't do it. I'll try the next one. I'll try the next one. The, the, the ones that we didn't like. Still tastes like hay? It's even worse. Really? Oh, it's spilling hay! I feel pretty good about this as a final order. Yeah. Now we need to rank them into tiers. So before we put these into the tier list, we need to do some rearranging and cleaning up because we have so much more data points. We do. I propose we move the Flaming Hot Cheetos and the ramen with flavor down to E yep. and also put the rice down to E. That was pretty that bad. Was bad. Yeah, that was bad, I agree. And I think we should even move the no flavor ramen down to D. Yeah, and we'll decide where the original Rice yeah. Krispies go later as well. I think this should be a D also. You put it down with the non-flavored ramen? <laughs> yeah, because I, 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 there, there's a part of me that was like okay with eating that more than I was okay eating this. You know, I kind of agree actually. Yeah, th this it was, was bad. It was, it was bad. But what about the haystacks? <laughs> that is also D. Okay. And this is also D. <laughs> okay, but I feel like now we're yeah. moving beyond yeah. that. I, no, see. I would group at least these three 
into C. I think this is C. But maybe I could go farther. I could go up to these. No, no. no really? Okay. No. C. C tier. Yeah. B. Yeah. B. Okay. Now. <laughs> now we're gonna get into some arguments here. We have Rice Krispies at A tier. Right now. And yes. I think. <gasps> all three of these are better. Really? As good or better. Oh, I don't know if I agree with that because I would put it pretty much tied with this one. They're so not sweet. <laughs> and the texture is so perfect. But these are so much more interesting. Yeah, okay. So what are you, where are you proposing we tier them? I think these are at least A. Do you think any rise up to S? You know, I would be willing to put them all on A because I still think that there would be things that are S. For example, what if it was Rice Krispies but we sprinkled cinnamon on it? Yeah, or Rice Krispies with peanut butter chocolate. I, yeah. I feel like there's there's room to grow and we're limiting ourselves by putting those at S. So I'm down to yeah. put those all at A. Oh, wow. wow. We found some A's, baby. We did. Pretty dang good. We also yeah. found some surprisingly awful ones. <laughs> surprisingly awful. Never again. That was that was really bad. So this means next time we're gonna do some cursed ones, right? You just put out your hand. I would love, I would love to shake on that. See you next time. Bye! Next up, rice crispy puffs. It's not Rice Krispie Puffs, it's Reese's Puffs. But you know what, again, it's not science. This is, this is Rice Krispies. It's not even baking. It's not even baking, yeah. Baking is, is, is rocket science. I mean. Don't eat it. <laughs> no, no, not out here in the workshop. <laughs>